find the smallest value of k for which the composite function gf can be formed now if you want the composite function gf to be formed then the range of the function must be a subset of the domain of the g so let us illustrate these in a picture format okay, now what is the first uh, function that you are inputting isn't this the f the f goes into the g so f g now you label what is the purpose of the first oval over here you want to input the domain of the function and when you put the input or the x value into the f what kind of output will you get which we call as the range so let's look at the question so we are having x more equals to k so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this lowest value k and then i'm going to substitute into here what will i get 2k minus 3 so what is my output can i see it's just 2k minus 3 or should i include more or equal ah. Ah, this is what you have to think now so for that let's illustrate this uh, in the cartesian plane i have x axis and i have a y axis because we are given a line it is very simple let's see this one i'm going to label as k but i'm drawing a line so my y value here is going to be 2k minus 3 according to the question i got to take x more equals to k so which portion of the x axis can i take this one right so for this particular x values the defined portion of the lines here and what are my output now you reflect here you know that these are the portion you can take right so your lowest value of y is 2k minus 3 then your output is anything that is greater than that like what we have written here now let's go to the second portion now you look at the g you already have the output of the f okay and now the middle oval is where the composition is actually happening so you have to be alert here and when you look at the rule they are actually focusing on that the range of the f must be a subset what is subset contain inside the domain of the g so what is the domain of my g so my domain of g is x more equals to negative 4 right so how do you make sense of this problem now see they are telling your range of g so let's put 2k minus 3 these possible values must be inside more or equals to negative 4 so if i want to put it into illustration or to simply say what is the lowest value that this must satisfy is the need the minus for right so you go and solve for that 2k minus 3 is equals to negative 4 therefore k is equals to negative half if you still don't understand maybe i can just say inside my set a i have 0 1 2 and then inside my set b i have 0 1 2 3 and 4 so usually in the e math you will say this is your set b and then the e is inside the b so how do you label 0 1 2 which belongs to both a and b and then the 3 and 4 you're going to put outside here now you think in the similar manner where you know this one is more or equals to 2k minus 3 whereas all of this they are saying it is more or equals to negative 4 so to find the value of the k you just equate let's do the checking now you know that the k value is negative half so i'm going to put x more or equals to negative half so this one becomes negative half now now you inspect what is your y value over here are you not getting negative 4 which satisfy with the lowest possible value over here 
Okay, now let's look at the second one. In the second question, I got to solve the inequality for this particular composite function where it's more than 45. You take the f and you put into the g. What is my f? All of this 2x minus 3 and you're going to replace it with this portion. So let's see what happened. Hmm. In one look, you know this is quadratic inequality. So the first step is find the critical values. How do you find the critical value? You replace the inequality sign with equal. Then you solve. 49 square root of that you will get plus minus 7. Therefore your x value will be 5. and negative 2. So second step you need to interpret the inequality sign. What does more than 0 simply means? The curve lies above x axis. You know it's going to produce a quadratic parabola put your limit where is it above here right so what are the possible x value you can say x less than negative 2 or x greater than 5 now let's go back can i take both the answers uh, you have to go back to your question and i want you to bring the focus over here we are talking about composite function gf right okay so for this particular composite function gf what are the possible input that is going to be exactly the domain of the function itself what is the domain of my function this one just now what did we get x more equals to negative half so you have to use this one to finalize your last answer here so your final answer is only x greater than 5 because you know the domain of gf is more than negative 1 over 2 more equal.